Could the sun be traveling in a circle above the Earth? I went out on one day, it was in August. I took photographs of the sun through a solar filter on the Quest Star again with my camera. And I uh, set it on the sun just as it got above the trees in the parking lot here at the back end of the Creation Museum. The sun was only like eight degrees above the horizon. So I went out there at local noon and I shot it again when the sun was like 63 degrees up, I think, something like this. So it's way up and it's way down and I took their model and I calculated that when the sun was high up in the sky at local noon, it should be 6.4 times larger than it was when it was low in the sky. Now the two photographs, the only difference was the time and the position it was in the sky. I kept the ISO rating the same on the camera and I kept the exposure time the same. I kept the same filter on. So the first photograph when the sun was low it was very red and very faint. You can see a tree branch in front of part of it. And the second one, the sun's much more yellow and lighter. They were with, to within a millimeter of the same diameter, you know, less than a percent difference between the two. If they were 6.4 to 1 ratio, you think it would show up, but it doesn't. And so the sun actually should get much, much smaller as it gets lower in the sky. Now, some flat earthers have actually tried to produce that. And they take time-lapse videos throughout the day and they put it in a little film. And they've got this big, huge sun and it gets lower in the sky and it gets low in the sky. It just gets real small all of a sudden. They said, see, it does get smaller. Uh, what they're doing is they're taking this without a filter and when the sun's high up in the sky it is very bright and it's bleeding out into pixels all over the place but as you get low in the sky it gets dim and now you're seeing the sun size as it truly is if you put a filter on the camera to start with you'd find that the sun size wouldn't change at all